What up, world? It's your woman, Butterfly. Okay, y'all, today we're gonna get right down to it, okay? Because Spirit Realm Ventures is off of the chain right now. And I'm going to record everything and show y'all what the heck is going on, okay? Because something's always going on in Butterfly's world. Something's always going on in your world, too, okay? And I want y'all to see these Spirit Realm Ventures, okay? And I want you to wake up and, and, um, and uh, you know, just activate your powers and uh, get close to God and learn to listen to him and, you know, just do your thing, okay? Be his child, all right? Because he's awesome. Okay, now, all right, I need to tell y'all what's going on, okay? Give me a second, because it's a lot, but I'm going to do my best, <laughs> okay? It's just so crazy, but it's like, you got to listen to God, okay? And sometimes I do crazy things, and it's like, People don't understand why. I've actually always been like that. You know, I just do stuff and, and, and it's like there's no explanation. Now, when I was walking in so much darkness, I did that and it was bad. But now that I am seeking God and walking towards the light, um, um, it's gonna, it's, it's good. It's good when I do that. It turns out good, okay? So, I'm about to make a move. All right, a life decision that I have made. All right, and I'm going to explain why. I've always never explained why, but now I'm going to explain why on this episode of the Butterfly Show. Now, I am going to quit my job, okay? Because of a lot of things, all right, y'all. This place is not good for me anymore. It it wasn't from the beginning, but but you know God let me st be there and let me see things, and um, I I really think that the reason why He did it is because so I can make this episode today. <laughs> That's what I really think, and now it's time for me to go. Okay, it was all for His glory. Okay, um, and a learning uh, a learning lesson for me spiritually. All right. Um, I'm going to explain how sometimes, you know, it's just, it's not just us on this earth. Okay. There's God, the devil, angels, and demons around you all the time. Okay. All the time. All right. And there is a war. I'm talking about flat out, nonstop, guerrilla style war over your soul okay your soul is very important okay now i work well i don't work <laughs> at this restaurant okay now i wrote everything down about this restaurant that god told me to expose about this place okay um, the only way that I can explain it is just to go, okay? First of all, the owner of this chain of restaurants is a celebrity, okay? Now, people are starting to realize what us crazy people have been saying about celebrities all along. Like, on TV, it seems like it's so great, but it is the biggest scam ever. It's definitely the devil, okay? Being a celebrity is not what people think it is, all right? And once you go in t too deep to it and you, find, you see it for what it is, if you start talking, they're going to take you to one of them cloning centers, beat you to death, and remake you, okay? That's the reason why 
a lot of these celebrities don't even look the same sometimes because it's a clone, <laughs> okay? Please, do your research. It is really bad. Never sell your soul. You don't need a record uh, deal. You don't need to be on TV. You don't need to do that stuff. That's not what God sent you here for, okay? That's not what you're on earth for, all right? All that money that it seems like they have, they can't even spend it how they want to. Okay, they can't, they, they, they don't even get it a lot of times. Okay, they are broke. All right, they have these big houses that are like prisons and sometimes it's not even their house. It's, it's all a lie. It's really bad. Okay, so the owner is a celebrity. All right, um, I didn't think, I mean, it was like, I, I just didn't think nothing of it. You know, I didn't think that it was going to affect me like this, but the... The evilness and the darkness trickles down into the restaurant. <laughs> okay? Okay? So, God has kept me and he has protected me while I was in there. But the restaurant is is literally hell. Like a piece of hell on the earth. That's all it is. Okay? Now, the building. Okay? The building is... One of the most haunted buildings in in Savannah. Okay, um, they want they want us to know all the history of the building. So when we got hired, they gave us this pamphlet, and and um, it tells you all the history of the building, what it used to be. Okay, but if you go online and you look up some stuff, this building used to be a satanic church. Okay. <laughs> so, I'm not setting foot in this building no more, all right? I'm on the schedule this week, and my boss is going to learn today, okay? They left that part out, all right? They got on here that it's haunted, it's haunted, it's haunted, but they left the part that it used to be a satanic church out. Okay, now, uh, and it's a, it's, I mean... It's a nice building. It's it it's three stories high. It's been renovated. It took about three years to renovate it. And they they did a really good job, but it still used to be the Church of Satan. Okay? It still has those roots and it still has spirits in it. They had a medium come in and talk to the spirits and it's just you just go in there sometimes and you feel you could just feel stuff. Okay? I'm telling you, y'all. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay? I lasted as long as I could, okay? Now, the... I never worked in a restaurant before where they... Um, it's just really bad, okay? <laughs> the food, all right? The food is just so unclean, all right? Um, and I feel bad because, because when I first got hired there, I was excited... Um, and telling people to come eat there, but, but the stuff that they serve, you know, they got vegetables and stuff, but the stuff that they serve is like, I mean, everything that God told you not to eat, <laughs> everything. Okay. Um, I mean, the vegetables are good and stuff, but they have like, like say if they have some chicken, all right, they fry it in pig fat okay they make sure they put you god told us not to eat the fat of certain animals i don't think you're supposed to eat the fat of any animals i mean there's a lot of things you're not supposed to eat okay and they serve it <laughs> whatever it is that you're not supposed to eat they serve it okay uh god said don't eat uh animals in out of the sea like fish that don't have fins and scales okay whiting mahi stuff like that has fins and scales but oysters shrimp lobster okay they got it all right they serve raw food okay raw meat raw fish <laughs> okay like that that stuff not even supposed to go in your body okay so the tartar and the it's just no okay they make sure that everything is just not cooked. Even the chicken is tastes raw. You know what I mean? So, and then they hide 
pork fat in almost every freaking thing in the cornbread in the hash browns they just throw pork in there and they're like oh yeah it gives it more uh more um more uh, flavor more and and really they just it's just a demonic environment and they're just trying to get you to eat things that god told us not to eat so yeah <laughs> okay and and i'm tired of eating stuff and then finding out later that it had pork in it okay and i'm i'm tired of hearing these demons tell me that all right the way they tell me i can tell it's like we got you to eat that type deal okay so I'm telling y'all, I'm out of there, all right? When you walk into the back of the kitchen, all right? I never worked at a restaurant where they did butchering in-house, okay? And and I, I can't, I can't, it's disturbing my spirit to, to walk in the freezer and see three bloody pig heads just hanging there, <laughs> okay? I walk in there, I'm like, it's just weird to see a pig slice completely in half and it's butt with the little stubby hairs on it just there, just just right there. <laughs> okay. Um I I I'm trying to stop eating meat, actually. Like I mean, there's certain meats that I will eat. I, I won't buy them and eat them, but if they're there, I'll eat them. You know, if somebody cooked it already, I'll eat it. You know what I mean? And and that's another reason why I just want to get away from there, period. Because because all this food is all that I'm that I'm trying to stop eating is is in my face all the time. They give us um um a free meal every day. They, the the back of the house cooks a whole a whole dinner every day for us and. You know, later on, I'll find out there was pork in the rice or something like that, you know. Or they'll have, like, these burgers and stuff, you know. Stuff that I'm trying to stop eating. So, it's like, I can't even um, work on my dietary discipline the way that I need to while I'm there. Because it's just always food in your face, okay? Bread, burgers rice with pork fat in it it's like i can't do that no more all right i gotta get myself around i got to eject myself from this okay because that's what demons do they put temptation in your face so when you're in their stomping grounds there's gonna be nothing but temptation in your face all right because they they just want you to be theirs all right so i don't want to be theirs anymore all right i i i never wanted to be theirs but i'm saying when you in their environment and you can tell that you're in their environment, too, because the people, <laughs> okay, the people are getting weirder and weirder, and they keep saying all this crazy stuff, and you just know you are in the midst of demons, all right? Some of them, I go to work, and I hear people growling, and I hear people, I heard Lucifer laughing one time. And I know that was him because I heard that before. I even saw a freaking demon up in there, y'all. Y'all, no lie. They had these this manager come down from another restaurant and she bought this dude with her. And he just looked I couldn't stop staring at him. He looked so crazy. He looked so crazy. Okay? He he you know how some people are possessed and then there's like demons in the flesh? He just looked like a straight up demon in the flesh, y'all. He was red okay he wasn't even he looked like he looked like a white dude whose blood was rushing too fast and he was just really red okay and the way that he moved he was like just so slow and just like looking around the restaurant and he just looked so crazy okay uh his eyes were like really big you know because demons are pretty much roaming the earth now there there's and i think you know they 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 convinced us to get all these tattoos and to look crazy so that so that when one of them is walking in the flesh you won't you you'll just think it's a person okay but this wasn't no freaking person all right this was not no person all right it didn't stop there either okay uh he came up to the bar area and he sat down at a table and was eating right and i'm just doing my work right okay i looked over at him and he was eating and then I looked over again 
and he was like looking at me. Okay, the way that he looked was so demonic. It was like he wasn't even eating his food. He was just looking back at me. Like, like he was looking at me like this. Right? And he had like this big, red, demonic smile. Like, I had to blink my eye. I had to rub my eyes just to see if, if, if his face looked totally different while he was doing that. Okay? So, I rubbed my eyes. To, to make sure my eyes were seeing what they were seeing. You know, maybe maybe it's dark in here or something I can't see or something. And he was still like that. And it was just so crazy. He was frozen like that. And I thought that he was going to, I don't know, grow some wings and fly over to me or something like that. I don't know. But I just, like, went over to the, like, bar area like I, I, it's hard for me to explain because y'all not actually there but i went over to the to the cocktail area by the pos stand and then i looked up and he was like eating his food again and i was like you know asking about him and stuff and they were like oh he might come work here soon and i was like if he come work here i'm gonna quit <laughs> okay because 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 i you i I had to ask my brain, then I just see what I saw. And my brain was like, yeah. My eyes were like, yeah. You, you just, that is a real demon, okay? For for something like that to come up in here, he, it, 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 you you got to be somewhere where, where his friends are. I, I don't know, but it was like sign number a thousand when I saw him do that I don't know but there's crazy people in there there's there's a guy that used to murder people for a living working there you know there's this guy that is wearing a dress and they want us to call this guy a woman work up in here that's against my belief I'm not going to do that and I can't I can't have somebody telling me that that I have to do that in order to keep my job okay because 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 that's the reason why I'm quitting all right. Now they moved this dude to to a position where he can come to work and cross dress because first uh, he was wearing the same uniform that we wear. OK, but then he got moved to the host position where they dress business casual. And this dude is just running around with this freaking dress on all day. And it's like, I can't I can't work like this. Not to mention that guy has two sharp teeth at the bottom. I'm like. Has anybody seen little sharp teeth? Like, he looks like a vampire. <laughs> okay, so I don't want to be around that anymore. All these tattoos. There's one dude in the kitchen. He has these big, huge plugs in his ear. And then he has all these upside down crosses on skulls all over his hands. And there's people with freaking eyeballs all in between their fingers. And it's like, where am I? <laughs> I can't do that every day okay all right i'm overwhelmed all right i'm overwhelmed okay there's three flights of stairs three flights of stairs okay that we go up and down on oh, i, I want to work out i do all right but i don't want to wear myself out okay i gotta take better care of myself than this all right yes my job is important and everything but I'm wearing myself out on them stairs, and, and and it's like whatever can go wrong will go wrong in there, all right? I feel like the demons are just messing with me, okay? They're doing whatever they can to irritate me, all right? And it's like if I say something, then I'm the one with the attitude, okay? But stuff keeps happening, and it's never – I've worked jobs before, and it's like – it's never been to this degree. So I know that I'm in a demonic environment, okay? Because they're doing whatever they can to piss me off, to make me sad, to feel to feel this pressure while I'm working. This pressure that I cannot have, okay? Like, out of all the jobs I've ever had, this one is, like, the craziest, okay? Crazy is the only way I can explain it. Crazy. Z, okay. Um. Uh, 
it's taking up too much of my time, okay? It, I, I feel like I'm being robbed of my time, all right? Um, then that's what the devil wants. He wants to rob you of your time, okay? All my servers out there, when you go to a restaurant, yes, you have to learn the menu, right? You have to learn what sides come with what, right? Okay, at this place, they want you to know, not only does the menu change every day, it's an ever-changing menu, Okay, it's farm to table, so the menu changes. Okay, they have this big veg plate that has five vegetables that's different every day. You have to remember every day. You have to remember what's in it. You have to remember how stuff is prepared. You have to remember how stuff is cooked. They want you to know all of that. Okay, if you don't know all of that, then you don't move up on the totem pole. Okay, um, there's people that are up on the totem pole that aren't even qualified. Okay, but they're telling you that you can't do it. Okay, I'm an assistant there. All right, a server assistant. I want to be a server. Okay, I've served for about eight years. I got eight years server's experience under my belt. Okay, but I'm in a place where somebody's telling me that I can't do it. Okay, but if you go and ask one of the servers a question, something that they're supposed to know to be in that position then they won't even know the answer okay but they're telling me that i can't do it okay i'm not finna sit up there and be kicked in my behind like this and i'm not gonna have my intelligence insulted okay i just it's demonic if demons always love to tell you that you can't do something you're not gonna be something they do that all day that's their job don't go there you're not gonna be this you're not gonna be that okay you can't do it. You're not smart. You're dumb. Okay? That's the vibe that I'm getting up in there. Okay? And it drives me freaking completely nuts. All right? And it's another reason why I'm out of there. Okay? Because they're trying to fill your mind with all this garbage. They want you to know the building, the wines, the new menu every single day. Like, y'all should see how thick this is. It's like all this stuff they want you to know. Every day they're giving you some different piece of paper. Every single day they're giving you to fill your mind with all of this freaking garbage. That has nothing to do with, with, with God. And, and that's the reason why they're trying to pack it in your mind. Because they don't, they don't want you to, they want you to be too tired. They want you to be too tired to read this. Okay, they want you to be too tired to absorb this. They want you to absorb this, all these different wines and where they come from and the new wines are changing every day. They want you to know all the cocktails. They want you to know the recipes of the freaking cocktails. I don't have time to fill my mind with that crap. That's crap. Okay, it's to the point where my brain is like, boop, boop, just blocking it. Okay, I used to be like absorbing it, getting it. And then when it starts to change, I'm like, here, changing it. Can I be a server now? Not yet, not yet. You're not, not quite, not quite. Why do you want me to learn this stuff if, if I can't, if I can't, what am I learning this for? Because the devil wants to steal your time, okay, and pack your mind with bull crap, okay? So I'm not going to be learning no freaking vegetables and how chicken is prepared and all this stuff and the new gravy and what it has in it and freaking red wine and chimcherry and shiso and shoyu powder and all this crap. It's crap. Okay, so y'all can see by the way I'm talking about it that is stressing me out. My hair is falling out. My hair is literally falling out. Okay, I was like, oh my gosh, my hair is falling out. Okay, that means it's time to go. Okay, it's been time to go, right? And I'm gonna be okay, y'all. I'm going to be all right, okay. Because between my real estate and donating plasma and and um and my my temp agency and finding another job, God said I I came home last night from work and I was like just feeling so weird. I was like, God, these demons they keep saying all this crazy stuff to me. Like like every time I turn around, somebody I see some crazy tattoo on somebody or you know you turn the neck and you 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 know it's like. Almost all of them, <laughs> you know what I mean? Not all of them, but almost dang near, okay? I'm surrounded. I'm in a demonic environment, God. And it's like, but I got to go to work. And and it's like, I got to, and God was like, quit. <laughs> God said, quit. I will take care of you. 
Okay, you're not, you're fine. If you feel like I don't want you there, that means that I don't want you there. Okay, if you know that you don't feel right, I want you to be happy. Okay, if you walk into the freezer and you see three bloody heads hanging there and that bothers you, that means it's bothering me. Okay, tell the people what happened and get out of there. Okay, and it's like Atlanta is calling me, y'all. Atlanta is calling me. <laughs> so, so y'all, be with me. Stay with me, okay? Because I'm going to get my paycheck, and I'm going to go to Atlanta. Because this place that I work at is a hot mess. One of the managers even referred to it as our little hell on earth here. This is our little hell on earth. <laughs> okay, and I'm telling you, they be in there saying stuff like that, and I'm like, I try to let it go in wearing it one ear and out the other, but it goes in one ear and it 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 goes to my brain. Okay, my brain has stored enough to say that this place is a demonic place, and that's why I'm quitting my job. So I will see y'all on the next episode of the Butterfly Show. I'm gonna get some much needed rest and wake up and I'm probably gonna go to the gym. Fill out a bunch of applications in Atlanta because that's where I feel like the spirit is taking me to. Okay? Bye, babies.